what's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Are you stressed out? Maybe even fed up with your country? In the USA, everyone recently celebrated the US birthday. But if we do some reflecting, Americans have definitely seen better times as a nation. Which got me thinking. We make a lot of videos about the US, so why don't we cover some other countries? After all, not all my viewers are American. I've made this list according to countries' economy, safety, education, healthcare, infrastructure, culture, corruption, and quality of life. So today, I'm gonna show you top 10 best countries to live in the world part 1. Number 10. Finland. Okay, so you're probably thinking, what the heck? When did Finland get a giant cosmopolitan city full of futuristic skyscrapers? Where are the cute colorful Scandinavian houses? Well, you'll see them in just a bit. But because it was so hard to narrow all the amazing countries in the world down to just 10, I actually couldn't. So we're gonna start out with a quick honorable mention. Singapore. Despite being a tiny island city, Singapore have managed to perfectly implement the best of both Eastern and Western society to become one of the most advanced, diverse and modern nations in the world. And the economy is booming. So many companies are located here due to its business policies, low taxes, increasable infrastructure and open trade. It's also the second safest city on earth. So, why didn't it make the actual top 10? Well, because of the government. But at least the most of residents don't seem to mind since the government itself is uncorrupt. Oh, and the cost of living is already more expensive than 95% of the countries. Actual number 10. Finland. Aw, just look at those clear skies. And take in some deep breaths while you're at it, because whether it's from 72% of Finland being covered with forests, or from the country's incredible eco-friendliness, Finland has the cleanest air in the world. And some of the most beautiful nature too, with 188,000 lakes, 180,000 islands, and gorgeous hills and mountains in the unique northern Lapland region. Which is also one of the best places to view the northern lights. However, Finland does get pretty cold, and while the midnight sun of the summertime makes for great adventures, that also means that some parts of the country experience less than two hours of daylight during winter. Aside from the magical environment though, Finland also hosts the happiest citizens on earth. And it isn't hard to see why. Government does everything it can to ensure the highest quality of life possible. Starting with the best education system in the world, in addition to having the top match healthcare coverage and being the third best country for gender equality with 328 days of paid family leave. But these things do not come without price, because taxes are high, wages still aren't the best, and the unemployment rate lies at a staggering 10%. Number 9. New Zealand Let's take things down to the southern atmosphere, where the 4.8 million human residents and the 26.7 million sheep residents of New Zealand enjoy incredibly high quality of life, education, healthcare, economic opportunities, and more. Okay, well, maybe not the sheep, but they must be happy too, because there are definitely enough of them to overthrow the government if they weren't. But why would they? 
I mean, New Zealand's tied for being the least corrupt country in the world. It's also the second safest country. Not to mention one of the happiest. I'm guessing the perfect weather, enchanting mountaintops and crystal clear beaches have something to do with this as well. And since there is also an excellent work-life balance, New Zealanders can truly make the most out of their adventures. Number 8. Germany. With nearly 84 million residents, Germany is the largest nation by population in Europe, making it the first big country in our list. But despite having so many people, Germany manages things incredibly well. Not only is it cheap compared to its European neighbors, but it also has the fourth best economy in the world with an annual GDP of 4 trillion US dollars and an employment rate of just 3.9%. How is all this possible, you might wonder? Well, Perhaps it has something to do with an excellent education system and free public universities. Or maybe the outstanding public transit system that seamlessly transport people around cities or between them. Speaking of which, from Dusseldorf to Hamburg to Berlin to Munich to Stuttgart and Frankfurt, Germany has so many amazing cities to live in each with its own unique art, history, culture, and beer gardens featuring world-class beer. In fact, the beer here is so good that you probably won't even get a hangover the next day. The only downside is, of course, the 42% personal income tax rate that applies to most residents and makes Germany one of the most heavily taxed countries on earth. But at least you get what you pay for. Number 7. Sweden. Do you hate stress? If so, Sweden's 6 hour workdays are definitely worth looking into. But despite of, or perhaps, because Sweden's populace isn't overworked, the economy here is thriving. Sweden is actually the second best country for business, and the great work-life balance leads to extremely happy residents, who in turn are much more productive with the time they do spend working, creating an impressively high GDP per capita over 57,000 US dollars. Adding a relatively low cost of living compared to the rest of Northern Europe and money isn't really an issue here. So the residents of Sweden have a plenty of time to enjoy hanging out with their friends and family in one of the cleanest nations on earth. And by clean, I don't just mean the amazing air quality, spotless streets and pure water from every tap because the government here is pretty clean as well. Sweden's actually the fourth least corrupt country. The government does, however, take anywhere from 32 to 60% of your paycheck in form of taxes, but at least it goes to good use. The only bad thing is that the education is unsupportive and just not good compared to its other European neighbors. Number 6. Denmark. Just a quick 15 minute drive across the incredibly beautiful and expensive Orson Bridge brings us to our next country, Denmark, where you'll find the highest quality of life on the planet. This could be accredited to the best healthcare system in the world or the fact that it's tied with New Zealand is the least corrupt country, or maybe that is also considered the second capiest nation, or that is one of the top five safest countries, or maybe the amazing air quality, 
or that the capital Copenhagen is often regarded as the most livable city on earth. I can go on, but I think you get the picture. And if you don't, well, picture this. Your turn to work from your two-week-long vacation and everyone just looks at you weird because, oh, right, you have three more weeks of paid vacation time. Of course, only a non-Danish person would make that mistake because Danes prioritize life over work and spend over two-thirds of even their non-vacation days eating, sleeping, and engilding in leisure activities. But don't mistake their flexible job schedules and 33-hour work weeks for laziness. Yeah, the taxes are high, but people don't mind because they know that money will go to a good use. Alright, so this was the first part of this list. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon, guys. Peace out and goodbye.